What's up, collective? <sighs> yes, I have actually spoken up. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Gemini Lion Gate. My name is Jenna. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys by using definition. When I say your guys, I mean angels to my angels, okay? Welcome, welcome. Um, this is a channel where I do cuss, I do smoke, I smoke, and I cuss like a sailor, and I drink a shitload of coffee, alright? Only smoke nicotine, though. Oh, that's all I smoke. If it's an issue, uh, yeah. I don't know if you do when we smoke cigarettes, will they? I mean, I don't see what the big deal is, but, you know? I'm one of those tarot readers. <laughs> I'm one of those tarot readers just where, you know, uh, I smoke cigarettes and I cuss and I yell at the camera. I'm just kidding. It's just nicotine, people. I like to smoke while I'm doing my readings because um, it sounds pretty silly, but... I feel like it also helps me cleanse. It keeps whatever negative energy out of my space, you know? It's like a ha it's such a bad habit. I need to quit. Anywho, I hope everyone's doing well, doing good, loving life. You know, I'm loving life. I hope you love life. <laughs> Ooh, man, collective. You're winning, honey. You're winning, honeys. My honeys, my collective, thank you for the people that have viewed my channel, shared my channel, shared my videos, liked my videos, commented on my videos. I'm just very happy that you guys are just viewing my videos, okay? It just makes me feel very happy. <laughs> so thank you for making me feel good about myself, okay? Um, like I said, I want to build a soul tribe here. I want to build my collective people. My collective, I do expect and I do trust you, use your intuition. Remember, energy can be past, present, and future. Um, that being said, um, yeah, remember, we all have a familiar story, not a similar story. Um, I don't think I like serious smoke. <laughs> so gross. I don't know. My mother's already bitching. <laughs> I can hear my mother already just talking away it's like she's so anti i don't know what it is i get on doing these videos and she's already talking anyways she's just my mom my mom doesn't really um it's like you know we all like i said we all have a familiar story we've all had a light since we we're little kids you know and i don't think my mom knew what to do with that light um I know sometimes it scared her, you know, it was different, it was weird, like I would say things and it's like intuitively she knew and when I told her, I go, mom, I'm psychic, you know, and <laughs> she got pissed, um, but she believed me, she didn't doubt me and she knew it and she, I think she was just very upset, it's like, I don't know, family members get a little bit weird about things like that, you know? It's like, with a gift, with just with any other gift, it's like comes with a responsibility. You know, it's like people want to do these things or they want to, not these things. It's like, people want to be intuitive. People want to be gifted. People want to be whatever it is. Um, they'll go to an extent where they even like force it. And it's like, this is just, I hate to say it, but... You know, there's a difference between people pulling cards and people being up here and being truly talented. I don't know yet if I'm talented or if I'm... I do know that I am intuitive and I do know I'm gifted. I do know that God allows me to get these messages. I've been told by healers. I've been told by, you know, spiritualists, psychics, whatever. So, I don't doubt myself anymore on my readings. So, that being said, someone's... 
two and two. So this has to do with assets. Okay. The second house is in the red. The second house came out with the fourth house. Something about money, but someone is losing money and someone's gaining money. This could have to do with, again, family, the fourth house, a house, a home, family members, ancestors, okay? Um, six, seven, eight, but something's being restored back to balance. Your health is? Your health is being restored back to balance? Uh... Yeah, my mom, she might call for the phone. She does this, so if I have to cut it off, I am sorry, but she's very unpredictable. She always tells me I could have the phone and use the phone, and then all of a sudden she's like, where's my phone? So. I do not like cigarette smoke. I'm like not vaping anymore. I used to smoke a lot. Sugar. What's going on with the second house here? What's going on with someone's second house? I got a high vibrational Aquarius. I got Aquarius on the upright. This could be a divine masculine, a divine feminine Aquarius. They're on the upright, so that tells me they're high vibrational. But their assets are not doing good right now. The material wealth isn't doing good right now. Because uh, Capricorn. A low vibrational Capricorn in reverse. So I have a high vibrational Aquarius and a low vibrational Capricorn. I already did cleanse my energy. I pray and I do all that good stuff, by the way, if you're wondering that. So who's healthy? Someone's Venus. I love. The Venus, huh? Planet Venus. This could be self-care. This could just be loving on yourself. This is why you're healthy. This could be a fire sign. This could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, uh, an Aries. High vibrational. Someone's feeling very fiery about love. A, a low vibrational Cancer. The Cancer is out in reverse. Okay. This Cancer needs some more discipline, a little bit of structure with this Saturn, because this person, this Cancer, is either wanting this Aquarius on the upright or wanting this Capricorn on the upright, or on the reverse. Yeah, look, this has to do with, um, geez, a lot of planets out here, Saturn, Neptune, Venus, Someone needs to get their emotions in check. This Cancer is. Cancer is, if they're like on the, on the flip side, they could be going through, it's like, they could be either really, really good with their emotions or they could be really, really shitty with their emotions. Considering this cap, Cancer is on the, on the reverse, this person is not doing very well with their emotions right now. Um, they need to show a little bit more self-control, self-discipline, because their love, their love, the Neptune and the then the Venus, with the fire sign, it's like right now they have like a burning desire to, I don't know, love someone. Jupiter. Because someone ascended. And this Cancer can't go with this person. I'm assuming this Aquarius ascended. Um, because this Aquarius is the only one on the upright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. This Cancer is the only one out here. With a bunch of planets and a fire element. Burning desire. Okay. No, they all came up. The planets are all in the upright, though. Venus, love. This Cancer needs to show a little bit more self-discipline in their love area. 
With Neptune, they're out of control with their emotions because someone ascended. This uh, Aquarius could have, uh, again, look at, yeah, water sign in reverse. This Aquarius could have really um, got on their little spiritual quest, and you have this Cancer and this Capricorn really upset about it, about this Aquarius being now on the upright. And um, it's because their health could be affected. Also, their money situation. Six, seven, eight. It just has to be something. It's like universally, energetically, shit has to go back to being restored where it was, I feel like. This is why this, um, this could be your divine masculine, your divine feminine, you know, this Aquarius. It was a male. It doesn't have to be. Um, hmm. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Ah. I do not like cigarettes. <laughs> oh, I need to get a job. Oh, I, I need to quit smoking. That's what I need to do. I cannot help myself when I do these readings, though. So you have shipping sort of back to balance. You have an Aquarius go on some type of spiritual quest. I really feel like this Cancer and this um, Capricorn do not want this. To happen, and, oh, I have a Gemini and a Sagittarius over there. I didn't even see that. Um, what's this reading about? What is this reading about? I suck at shuffling. These ones are hard. This is what we're going to do. We're going to shuffle and we're going to count. We're going to do the countdown. This is what we're going to do. We are going to shuffle. Spirit, I'm not taking reversals in these ones. These are the Witch's Oracle cards. I'm not taking reversal in the Witch's Oracle cards. So if they come out reverse, I'm flipping them on the upside. Thank you, Spirit. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Right, let's see here. I got one, two, one, two, one, two. Oops. One. Oh, let's just do this again. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Okay, hold on. I'm like, one, two. Get in there. All right, anyways. One, Two. I'm drawing out two. Okay, one, two. This is what I want to do. One, two. One, two. Yes, thank you, Spirit. One, two. I was like, what am I doing? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. This is what I wanted to do. Thank you for. I was like, I had it in my head. I always have that one person you gotta run in my house. Like, there's this person that literally will drive, bump in their vehicle, and then they like drive up, and then they drive down. It's so weird. I mean, I could be just super paranoid, but. You never know. We got the creature paw out here. Ugh. Dear Lord. The snail. The apple. Family. Again, this has to do with family. You had a family member. Someone's name could be Shirley, Jackson, Anna, Annis, Nin, Mary, Shelley. You had a family member. 
Okay, with this Anis uh, Nin, this is, um, and is, is, okay, she was an erotic writer, okay, this is the subconscious card. Um, listen, she ended up doing a lot of fraud stuff. She suffered from, um, she was, um, bipolar or something like that. Um, she had a personality disorder for sure. She, um married someone and they took it's like whoever she married was was younger than her husband and they end up taking the husband's name like went uh to california or something like that did a bunch of fraud shit like fake uh fraudulent like federal shit with the husband's name she felt really bad for it but she was very lustful and you have the apple out here okay you had a lustful family member or it's maybe someone that you consider family, okay? Um, subconscious, subconsciously, this person is very lustful, very sexual. Like, might have a sex addiction, maybe, I'm feeling. This person was very patient. Like, this is crazy. With the snail out here, this person was very slow and steady to make sure this person was doing some type of magic or prayed or manifested that you lost. Lost everything. Lost your home. Lost, I don't know, put a death to a lot. Look, in memory, here lies. And they did that by lying. It's like with the creature paw out here too, this person is very dangerous. You had a family my member. This person is very manipulative. that would that's very lustful but like subconsciously okay she would go around your family or your friends wherever you work or he or she and she would like slow and steady poison your name so say like you didn't even notice because this is how good this person was doing it like how fake this person is she was or he was gradually making sure people poison who your character who you were so they could have said that you were lustful they could have said that you were doing um lustful things when this person is literally like a slut <laughs> i can't like this person is with the erotic writer and the apple next this person's a hoe okay but it's like that it's not saying like it's like she goes and points a finger or he goes and points a finger at you for everything. But it's like, you know, what's the fingers are pointing back at that person. So if this person is going around town or your community or whatever and saying that you do this and this and that is because they're doing it. It's like heavy projection. This person falsely, falsely uh, accused you or did something with type of paperwork, fraud, insurance. Like, I, I can't make this up. This person could even got with one of your ex-partners, maybe, um, and used your name, pretend to be you. And she, they figured you wouldn't see this. They thought they were subconscious, like, subconsciously, like, going into other people's subconscious mind, sending this creature paw out here. She sent a demon at you, or he did. This is a Aquarius or a Cancer. They, you could be an Aquarius. Uh, no, because you're you're the Aquarius. You're on the upright, okay? So you're the collective. So you had a Capricorn Cancer family member, okay? Or you, that you consider family that was going around, and they did this for a long time. Very slow, very sneaky, okay? Poisoning people's, see how they're manifesting bad about your name, your character. Here you are. Here lies in the memory of, they could have really even did some type of fraud paperwork and said that you were dead or something like that and took over your name. This person is a lustful individual, very lustful. Very, like, I mean, this person is a hoe. Okay, this person um, believes in the devil, 
really wanted to put you in some type of danger. The creature paw literally means danger. Evil. Okay. I am expect um Yeah. Because you're you can see the future. You saw this, you know about this, you're a visionary, you that you're like Something about you speaking about this or something about you seeing this is very surreal because you're a reincarnation of a, you're an old soul. Okay, this car is all floppy. I just noticed that. Okay, look at, yeah, with the cat out here, you have some divine um, protection, some divine magic. You're magical. You're an old soul. You're, you've been reincarnated here for over and over and over. Your name could be... Um, they have an O in your name. You have initials E, B, Butler, K, Emily Dickinson, K, Rick, Richard could be important, K. You are, look at, a black cat and a black, black ferret. You are connected to the divine. You are reincarnated here over and over and over. This is why you could tell the future, K. You have someone now crying over some type of spilt milk. Ooh, because literally they try to poison you. This person tried to hurt you. This family member tried to hurt your character. This person, I can't get this out of my mind. This person really tried to hurt you. With this elixir, poison, look at this little ghost. It's, okay, this person tried to poison you. For some type of fraud money, fraud insurance. Wow. This person is lustful. Like, they fuck like a, sorry, they, they hump like a rabbit, okay? Because you're a humanitarian. You are sweet. You are kind. You shine like a peacock. Okay? Justice is out. Woo! Divine justice is out. Look at this. Ooh. This is bad. This is bad for this family member. Not only you have the justice card, you have the teacup out here. The teacup, this card represents divine, literally having tea time with God. You are one of God's children. Now God is out here fighting justice for you for this family member that really did some type of fraud paperwork on you wanted you dead said you were dead and was literally sending you a bunch of black magic and some ugh, bad stuff all for a status they wanted to be look as high class okay they, they think they're classy but they're not they're ho okay you shine the light on the situation you gave some type of enlightenment on the way situation because you hold the power overall okay you could be named tony morrison mary shelley andre andres lord could be significant Ooh, divine justice this is worse than justice flan o'connor someone could be irish last name o'connor emily dickinson's you are a humanitarian and you're a reincarnated soul this is why you could tell the future Whew, this person is getting chewed up by the divine, honey. As below as as above as below, this person's going to jail probably for this fraud paperwork shit. Mm -hmm. They don't think they're gonna get caught either. They did it for assets, for status. This is bad. Whoever this fam whoever family member this did this to you is bad. This is really bad on them. Not on your part. You survived it. I really feel like this family member tried to poison you. Like, I don't even like talking like that on my on my channel. But it is what it is, okay? This person just really wanted to poison you. They could have really tried to hurt you. Um the miracles are endless. This family member has no more miracles coming in. You could you guys could own a farm. Uh, something about cows you can have cows in your kitchen it's like this family member has a weird like they have really project calling you fat because they have a thing let this train go by with their weight they call you a heifer but it's because they're not comfortable with their own body this body this this family member body shames you this person is a coward, though. I don't think they... With the snail on here, they, like, they do it, like, behind your back. What a coward this person is. Seriously, what a coward. Then, and this um, exotic writer. This person likes to talk messages, write messages, really nasty messages to people. 
Watch and wait. Watch and wait. God is saying, watch and wait what's going to happen to this person. Um, someone could be born on the 15th. Someone could be born, um, someone could be 35, 53. A, a rebirth is assured. Yeah. Whoever this family member tempted, this person is getting a rebirth. Okay. I don't know if this is a past person. I don't know if it's uh, Aquarius. If it's you, if I'm talking to the Aquarius, you have a rebirth. You get to have a redo because you change something. You're on the upright. You can be born on the fifth. Someone can be born on the fifth. Okay. This Cancer and Capricorn do not want this rebirth for you, though. They wanted to poison you. They literally said you were dead or something like that. Now is a lucky time, so be slow and steady. Just take your time on your um, rebirth, on your new spiritual awakening, okay? Yeah, because you have people that really want to manifest your downfall. Pray on your downfall. Life is a mystery. Um, these people really didn't think that this loss, loss, life is a mystery. And the, Yeah, this is being revealed. They thought they would never get caught by this loss energy right here that's revealed i'm not joking these people whoever this family member is they do not have any more miracles coming in they got no sweet results are awaiting that's blocked because you know your worth this family member doesn't 54 8 94 could be significant 7 could be significant Like, uh, um, what's this family members do? This person sees that you're resting good at night, okay? They see that you're healed, okay? So like really bothers this person to see you at peace. Is this a really your family member? Yeah, look, they wanted you. They they don't understand how you're resting over some type of breakup because this person would if like someone would break up with this person, they wouldn't be doing this because they're not healed. This um, Cancer or Capricorn, they're not very healed, so they don't understand how you could be healing from a breakup. A terrible one in reverse. It's like they're not over your breakup, but you are. <laughs> five, five of Wands, yeah. This person is defeated. Feels very defeated. I don't. Don't ask me why. Okay, this is so weird. It's like this family member. Okay, is so defeated. Okay, it like fucking ballers the shit out of them to see you rested. This person does not get it yet that their endless, their miracles, whatever they thought there's going to come in for them, it's going to end because you got divine justice out here now. Now we just got to wait and watch the subconscious. You know subconsciously something is going to happen to these people. Again, I'm talking to that an Aquarius right now. Yeah, because you're waiting and watching whoever this bully is, this King of Wands. King of Wands is on the upright. This is a fire sign. This is a Sagittarius. I got the Temperance, the King of Wands, and um, the bully. So you had your wait and watching. Whatever bully this is, whoever King of Wands this is, whoever King of Wands is involved with the bully. Okay, this King of Wands is on the upright though. This is, um, it doesn't have to be Sagittarius. I say it's Sagittarius because of the, the temperance. This King of Wands is literally getting away. This is divine timing. This person has their back turned on this bully too. Look, whoever the Sagittarius is, they have their back turned on this bully. Because there, there's some type of divine timing here. There's some type of uh, re, the, an earth angel's here, um, an angel. 
You're protected by, um, what is it, the divinity, or three, you know, because of the triangles in here. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Mind, the Holy Body, right? Is that what it is? You're very protected from this bully. This person, you have a family member. I'm so sorry, dude. This is a family member, okay? Okay, whoever this King of Wands is, this is the person that this family member was doing some type of assurance or fraud with. With a subconsciously mind. Whew, yeah. Because he's smart. He's a natural born leader, but he knows someone got him fucking... Ugh. This person knows this person's a bully. He wants... This King of Wands wants to restore whatever insurance fraud that happened he wants to bring balance into your life okay he knows he wants to do this his king of wands he literally has his back turned on this um bully whoever's been bullying you yeah because you got someone feeling so you got someone feeling some type of way honey because they do not understand they could actually cause a breakup in your life they don't understand how the hell you've been resting this entire time it bothers them. Bothers them like how this King of Wands is looking in the past too. He's thinking about something he did in the past. He's thinking about this insurance fraud. This uh, fraudulent paperwork. Like I said, this woman did a lot of things under her husband's name. Yeah. And he's got his back turned on this bully. He's literally driving away, getting away from this bully. He wants balance. He wants, he's going to restore back, balance back into your life for sure. Yeah, look, because whatever rebirth you had, you're victorious in it. You had to be very lustful and you came over some type of sex addiction. You overcame your demons with sex for sure. And this is why you have this rebirth right here. And now you are going to be victorious You're going to let go of the past. You're going to let go of a lot of bad behaviors. You're going to let go of some type of money. Because you know judgment's out here. You're being judged by because you did something to an empress. This empress is um, casting judgment. Look at this empress has a sword, too, in their hand. This empress, you're being judged because of this empress. Um, not you. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, somebody is being, yeah, queen of swords. Here she is. That's that Aquarius. Ace of pentacles on the upright. Whoo. So you overcame being very lustful. Good for you. Okay. Whatever that is, you're not tempted by this family member anymore. This family member could have actually had you behave in a very lustful way. Um, you could be this king of wands. Maybe as an Aquarius, you are literally thinking about stuff in the past. Well, now you have a rebirth. You get a redo, okay? Because you want to walk away and be victorious towards something. Because, and you're letting go of a lot. This is good. This is cool. You're letting go of a lot because you are want to go be victorious towards this empress who's this queen of swords. Or this is another air sign. Or you're this Aquarius who's this empress and this queen of swords. Okay? Someone wants to let go of things and come towards you and be victorious. You know? You're very honest. You're very truthful. You don't lie. You're very graceful. You could be a baby mama. You could be a mama. You could be pregnant. Because there's judgment out here. Over an ace of pentacles. Over some type of money, stability, a new oppor a new financial opportunity. Someone is going to give you this. And they're going to be victorious with you. Okay? Now is a lucky time. Just be very slow, whatever you're doing. Be very patient with the snail. Yeah, because you're coming over some type of um, breakup. 
you're getting over some really toxic relationship. You could have been with a karmic. This is, um, a, you're not attracted to that Capricorn or that Cancer anymore. And you're literally don't, you want anything to do with them. They're not your, <laughs> but you got the lovers in reverse and now you got the lovers on the upright because you're going back to your real lover, whoever that is. Okay. Um, an Aquarius. Ooh, this is going to be good love. Look at these two people. Good loving. You, you, whoever you're with in the past, this talks about a union. Um, huh. Sodas are that way. Huh? Sodas are in the utility room. The Spr Sprite and yeah. Ruger are over there? And um, orange soda. Okay. So, uh, lovers on the reverse, lovers on the upright. Yeah, you're breaking up to be in a true soulmate connection. Or someone's breaking up with a Capricorn and Cancer so they could be in a true soulmate connection with a Gemini. Okay? Ooh, this is good loving. Like, you guys are all, ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> Literally, someone could be born in June, June 6th, with a double six out here. Someone could be born June 12th. June, someone could be born in 94, June 12th. Or June 9 plus 4 is what? 13? Uh, yeah, this took a very long time for this to happen because you were non-committal or someone was, I don't know why I keep saying you collected, I'm sorry. Because I feel like you overcame a lot, okay? I'm talking to someone that used to be lustful. Maybe you were a hoe, whatever it is. You're losing, you overcame like a sex addiction, your lustful ways, you fought that demon, okay? Because you made the choice, okay? You were, you were not non-committal. You were, um, you know this about you. I don't need to tell you this. This is something that you know, okay? Um, this is also a family member that puts you in this state of mind that had you do some type of fraud paperwork, okay? But you're dropping all this because you're going into a soulmate connection. It took you very a long time to get here. Just say that. With the snail and the nine of pentacles in reverse, honey, it took you at the... At the but at least, it, it, you, at least you get this a chance, okay? All right. Yeah, because you whatever toxic relationship you're in, there's no new beginnings in it whatsoever. You knew whoever you left for dead, whoever got over these ten of swords, you know energetically you never left them. Even though you left them for dead, you never did, okay? Because you're reaping karma right now. You're reaping some type of karma. You really feel like you missed some type of opportunity to go back to that lover um, because you thought the grass was greener on the other side, but now you're very enthusiastic. Before you could have been bored, but now you're like, I have the fire and the drive to be with this person. And I wanna go in and be committed to this person. So now you have, um, you know, there's like I said, this is all divine justice and stuff like that. Now you have this lost. And um, whoever is trying to make someone lose a lot of things, it's, it's in, there's no mystery who it is. It's out there. Like it's, like, it's out there. Like, there's no hiding it. Life is a mystery, not for these people. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Dude, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the world. The world also tells me... Whoever this lover is, this ex-lover, you know there's unfinished business. You know that you left a cycle too soon. You know that like you and another person need to go close this out regardless of how this looks like. If it's you guys get back together, you guys be friends. But you really want to close the cycle because you know, until then, you're just going to have misfortunes happen in your life. You know God is putting a whip ass on you. Or someone's putting a whip ass on someone because they did not close the cycle out completely. They left someone for dead. Because you want to go partner up with whoever your ex-lover is or whoever you want to be with, this Gemini or whatever. You want to go partner up with this person. You want to go be teamwork. Teamwork! Okay? You want to be committed now. You want to work, you want to get married. Okay? Yeah, because this Empress is not only speaks the truth, this Empress is a sweetheart. She's the mother of your child. 
or I'm talking to this empress. This is your ex-lover who you have a child with, okay? This person knows you dumped all those ten of cups. Ugh. Yeah, there's no illusion with this. This bothers this person so bad. They want to go in and show you that they they learned their lessons with the Page of Pentacles. And that they're letting go of some type of toxic behaviors with the Five of Cups. I don't know. I think you might have to give this Aquarius a chance because from what it looks like out here, this person is really being serious. And now, if they make it right with this fraudulent paperwork and shit like that, I and bring you this Ace of Pentacles, I think you should let this Aquarius back into your life. Or I'm talking to Aquarius. Yeah, because this person put you in a third party. Plain and simple. With a family member. You knew your worth, though. Whoever sends you out this creature paw... Okay, this person literally is, this person has, oh, no, and no miracles. This person has a fucked up ending. I don't want to talk about it. Whoever this Aquarius or whoever puts you in a third party, that third party has a bad endings for them. Three cups in reverse. Yeah, they celebrated too soon. Whew, yeah, because they were trying to manifest a happy home. That was your home. They were trying to, like, energetically, whoever this third party was, was trying to pretend to be you or, like, manifest. They know you can manifest this home. It's, like, so weird. It's, like, this third party wanted you to do all the hard work, but then come along and take your, your person and then have your happy home because you know how to manifest. I hope I'm making sense with that. Yeah, but you send whatever back that back to sender, back to sender. Someone sabotages this. Whoever there's third party, they really try to sacrifice you, but they sacrifice themselves. And you have a new perspective, or whoever someone has a brand new perspective of the situation. You have a king, a king of cups. Okay, this king of wands is looking in the past, trying to figure out how to make shit right. You have this king of cups now that's looking in the future, wanting a future with you. This person was either in a third party situation or put you in a third party. There's, this, I don't know, put it in the clear. This person gains some type of pers perspective. I feel like you got two masculine energies out here that want to be with you. You have a king of cups and a king of wands, both on the upright. These people are changing their lives for you, collective. Whew, you got some suitors out here. With the lover's card, that you want to be your lover. Who's this? Um, who's this King of Wands? Who's this King of Wands? A Leo in reverse. <laughs> yeah. Are this king of wands attached to a Leo, a karmic Leo? You gotta remember the third party is out here. This um, king of wands, yeah, I figured. Look, it's this air sign, this Aquarius. He's on the upright collective. And guess what? He changed a lot. I cannot, you're not, you're, hate, you're gonna hate me for saying this. This is your past lover, okay? But he's on the upright. He's thinking about how he's going to make this right with you because he got attached to this karmic Leo and did some type of fraudulent paperwork. But at the end of all this, you might end up with the King of Cups instead. So this King of Wands, versus this Aquarius, better stop looking in the past because you got another suitor here. You have a Virgo. Very loving. Virgos are very loving. Very, um, they're very smart they they're articulate this person strategizes this king of cups it could be a can uh not a cancer a water sign that's like very in this vertigo energy or this is a vertigo that's very sweet and kind that understands their this is a mature male that gets our emotions fire sign yeah this vertigo has a burning desire to be with you in the future okay vertigo is an earth sign isn't it yeah. You have a vertigo that really wants to be with you in the future. Yep. Gemini. 
You could be a Gemini. So in the future, you have Virgo and a Gemini that's getting together if this Aquarius on the upright does not get their shit together. Because energetically, with the Knight of Cups, with, with the Knight of Pentacles, this person is just taking forever to get into this loving relationship. They got a lot of obstacles. I'm not going to lie. They got a lot going against them. They got the Wheel of Fortune and the World in Reverse. Because this person could literally be stuck in some type of karmic cycle with this Leo in reverse. And this is why the for yeah, he's so, yeah, he's going to miss his opportunity because by the time he tries to be with this Gemini, this Gemini is going to be with the Virgo in the future. Very loving, very loving relationship, very sweet, nurturing. This King of Cups is going to treat her like a queen or treat you like a queen. But I really feel like you and this Aquarius are going to make things right about whatever this Ace of Pentacles was. Yeah, this person is doing the soul searching. They're isolating themselves. They're finding the strength to get away from that Leo. <laughs> okay, this person's doing it, Collective. This is a person that's, yeah, Page of Swords. This person is going through a lot of challenges and dilemma right now, but it's like he's rising up to the occasion. He's defending himself. He's defending you. He's defending whatever you guys have left. He's also watching you a lot. Because, <laughs> again, you're the empress. You're very confident. You have a business. Queen of Wands, they, see, they watch you work at your business, at your work. Okay? And they see that you're working very hard. They see that you're confident, you're beautiful. You're high priestess. They literally see you intuitive. They see that you use your intuition in every situation. Okay? You literally, whatever your business is, you're, you use your intuition as your business. You literally could be a tarot reader. You could be a psychic. You could be a spiritualist. This is your business, is being a high priestess. This is how you make money. Seven of Pentacles. That's how you make money. Anyways, I hope the messages helped. It wasn't very long, but I hope they worked. I hope they helped. Until next time, bye-bye. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel.